Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation and BeamNG Drive. Today we are creating our very own economy car, this time with a twist. Uh, we are going to using a V16, so a 16 cylinder economy car from the year 2020. Uh, big shout out to um, the person who commented this. Uh, awesome idea, uh, pretty much the exact opposite of my uh, three cylinder supercar. This is going to be a V16 economy car. Um, the only similarity between both videos is cars are going to have a very small engine. So we had a one liter uh, in the car. We're going to have a very small display. cylinder. I'm not sure if we're going to have one liter exactly. A partial aluminum and glued aluminum for these chassis. Real front and transverse engine. I might do it with front mount. Um, a bolt should fit with all the space. Here's the struts. This is going to be a relatively cheap car. This is. This, this is a, you know, a good fuel economy version of the vehicle. This is not going to be the very cheap for, uh, it's not going to be very cheap, uh, probably around 50,000. Probably pretty expensive car. Um, and I'll try to do it cheaper, we'll, we'll see how it goes here. Uh, aluminum, turn off, delivered. Four valve, I might go, I think five valves is going to be more efficient. Very small in. Still part does not fit anything, okay. A 1.6 liter, a very, 1.6 liter is exactly fine. They're a very, very, very small engine. Uh, especially V16, incredibly small cylinders. Uh, probably just cast, cast, no friction, cast for, for economy. I'll lower the control valve down to third. Start. Twin turbocharged, the beast, obviously. Low cost tune. Go with removable and direct injection. That should be a pretty good basis. Full exhaust, five half, way reverse forward. Close way. Pretty strict uh, exhaust system on the vehicle. Obviously, this car wants to get good emission standard. It's gonna meet modern emission standards. It's gonna meet a bunch of things. Probably, you know, maybe, I don't know. Uh, 97 horsepower, 127 torque, only 28% efficient. Just getting that one off the bat there. They are using a ton of octane. 0.5 to 1 or uh, 0.5 octane. Ribs, well, we can have a lot of ribs with this. So probably 7,000 ribs, anything more than that. But not good for an economy car. You have the ability to rip to 7,000. I think we'll get a bit more bang for our buck. Compressor. All our intercooler will help as well. Turbo actually even do anything. <laughs> the turbo actually. Uh, not really. It helps out very, very, very slightly. It's almost like it's not there. Uh, is this car going to be fast? Uh, not at all. Uh, this is going to be cool. Well, we're increasing the quality of a couple of things, but, but plus, maybe plus, let's fine. Uh, this car is going to be not a, maybe a concept. It might be a concept car because what car would actually, with only 100 horsepower, well, none. Why would that ever happen? I think a 10 to 1. Or 11 to 1 square, 11 to 1 compression. Uh, fine, so 97 horsepower, 120, 33% of vision, so not the most efficient engine. Uh, we can... Very slightly, not really. Horsepower. Yeah, it's, it's not, not very efficient. We can go without a turbocharger, a bit more efficient without a turbocharger. Yes. Single exhaust, we don't need dual exhaust. Okay. Still cast. Dual electric turbocharger here. Dust. Small turbocharger. Or small compressor. Or a larger compressor. And overall the turbo. Quite a small engine, so obviously the turbochargers are gonna be quite small. We're not using all the octane, we can go probably no five pass valves, yeah we don't. That uh, helps the fuel economy ever so slightly. Single exhaust. We I might do that just to save weight. It was like a bit of efficiency, but we are a bit of weight with that. I am um, we have to be less of it. Plus, is compressing a bit of that. Okay, let's. Need horsepower. I mean, 100 horsepower seems fine. Right? 
100 horsepower even seems fine. You know what? It's not gonna be the most crazy efficient engine. It'd be quite a small vehicle. It's gonna be the wagon version. The wagon's damn cool, and I don't think of wagon on this channel in a long or general in a long time. Front wheel drive wagon, of course, it's got a also right. Anything with body cladding and a raised, raised, a lot better. Radial medium compound. What? 205 front rear sounds fine. Alloy wheels, vented disc, two piston, open just. And then we'll do a tank rear. That's fully clad and cooling flaps for a slightly better aerodynamic fuel economy. Surprised you can't have three of like a roses thing in the back. Okay, take it. Standard and what? Basic or standard infotainment? So basic for now. Electric. And of course, launch. You might as well all the traction. And just generic suspension. So 41 miles per gallon. Not great. Obviously, this engine is just not very efficient in general. Honestly, it's a 1.6 liter, 32. Um, and it's oh, wait, we can get slightly higher here or there. But I think overall it's pretty good. I could probably play around with a few things if I get a few more um miles per gallon out of it. I can probably get what do we get right now? Okay. We're at 41 what we during. There's 49 there's 49 average. 49 average, that's pretty good. Uh 0, 60, 11 seconds. This thing is very 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 slow. They're playing close cars. We have all-wheel drive, would that be too much? That's okay. So the basics are pretty much done. The price is only 70,000. This is yeah, I guess this is more of a concept car uh, than a real production car. Maybe someone bought whatever this thing is, uh was designed, obviously, and they swapped. Dima swapped a the E16 fuel economy engine into it for whatever reason. Uh, because it doesn't make any sense at all, but I, I like it. We can go for a manual, six speed manual. The oh, worst fuel economy. Seven speed manual is not what you would have in an economy car at all, but then again, this is this is more of a concept, I guess. Um we even need a locking diff. I mean I guess not. We could probably save some money that way. Uh we could probably save up money doing a lot of things, I think. Car. Uh for example, we don't need that, that saves us 15 bucks here and there. We're at $65,000 even. You can probably get even less safety, just a bit maybe. 51 MPGs, but pretty reasonable safety still. 60 cost is not cheap. The engine is so absurd. Uh, yeah, it's all the engineering time. 150 months. Crazy. The overall rest of the car is 122. The engine is way, 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 way overly complex, but. It's a V16, and I think it just been turbocharged, percent, but advanced uh, vehicles, etc. Cool exhaust is there? I think that's worth it. Perfect. Will be better. 50.5 versus. I think it was actually a little less. Good on that. And five versus. A 50.6. Okay, so single exhaust better for fuel economy. I'm pretty happy with 50 miles per gallon. It's passenger fleet. I can see it. Basically, a computer vehicle with a V16. Lap into it. Uh, too bad we couldn't make a one liters because that'd have been pretty cool. But this is the other one. Uh, I think what we're going to do now, of course, design the vehicle and then test the vehicle and drive and see how it does. Well, um, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we are starting the build for the V16 uh, economy. Not really a hyper mile, but more of like an economy concept ish car. Uh, first things first, of course, is the front end and the harder car to do. Uh, I'm basing this not off any of my previous cars, um, but it does end, end up looking similar to, of course, a, a Chevy Cruze or something like that because it's got similar headlights, similar grille. Um, but I do have other cars and I'm working on the same kind of brand. This is going to be a French-ish design. I mean, in my opinion, French is fine. We have some very small headlights, some modern headlights with some headlights. A very uh, Chevy Cruze kind of grille there with almost an accurate top of the grille. Uh, this is going to be a 2020-ish modern style. Not like a futuristic, but like a 2020-ish design. Uh, the bottom fascia is already done, so we have a, uh, a long horizontal grille with a uh, very angular uh, inside, basically. We can just sort of a winged logo uh, on the middle of the grille, basically, for the car. Um, I'm not sure really what the brand is going to be called. If you, if you have ideas for what this brand is going to be called, let me know in the comments down below. Basically, just adding some details to the hood and some other things, then jumping onto the back end. I really want to do some unique A lights for this car. 
Uh, and the theme of this car is very angular, very, very angular shapes. Like, I think this ran so many very angular shapes and designs. Uh, starting off with square taillights and sort of working around that. Uh, change the color to a nice blue, and then uh, pretty much I decide to make my own taillights by using uh, pretty much the LED strips and then my taillights up pretty much. Um, I think I could use a grill to make the shape too, but I think it looks pretty good. So you know, the theme of this car is a very angular, very, very sharp lines, hopefully. Uh, quite aggressive looking. This is a very aggressive looking company. Very aggressive looking car. Um, and this this is more of a concept car, so it can be a bit more aggressive than most. See here I am working on the back, still adding the logo to the back, and then working on the bottom piece. Very, again, a pretty aggressive bottom end for an, an, you know, an economy style car. Uh, with basically a third sort of brake light setup at the bottom. And then a tri dual triangular exhaust at the bottom as well, which is, I think it looks awesome. It's a very unique exhaust. Um, I think the whole back end looks great. I don't know if it fits the car 100%. Um, the front end could be a bit more angular, but it still looks good nonetheless. Um, very, very unique styling overall. Uh, basically just working at the details to the back. What I want to add is a bit more kind of detailed. Um, the rear taillights are sort of P-shaped with some L's inside. I'm not sure what you know what the design is. Uh, I do decide on the name. It's called the Vajura 1.6. TI, a 1.6, of course, then TI, you know, turbocharged, intercooled, sure, I'm not sure what that means, but um, that's the designation, 51 MPG, what it's got so far, uh, adding some details here and there, a massive center, I am playing around with a loading uh, C-pillar design, but I, I decide against it, but uh, I think it looked really cool, but in BMG driving everywhere else, it wouldn't look that great, adding in some extra turns here or there, and finally, in front of us completed, is the 2020 uh, unnamed brand Vizora. 1.6 i So we are finally in Beeman G Drive with the Vizora 1.6 Ti. This is a small island USA. Uh, this is I think the mixed circuit one I think is what this is. This is the shortest course. Um, this, probably, this car probably could have benefited from a all-wheel drive, but um, there's one thing it does benefit from from any of my other cars previously. It sounds fantastic. Um, even with just like a standard intake, I think this is what this has. It just sounds awesome. No, no pops or crackles for us, but we're going to race this thing fairly aggressively. We've got a 7-speed dual clutch, I think it is. Oh, they've got the pops or crackles there. This is pretty much like a rally cross circuit here. Um, now, the amount of seat time I have in this course is absolutely done. This is, I, I don't think I've ever done this course really this exact track on this map. <laughs> and it's bad. Oh, it's so good. If I complete this my first try, you'll be the first to know, I guess. Oh, this is scary to do. So far, it seems like the handle's pretty good, though. I mean, we're not testing the handling of this car, we're testing the fuel economy. But who cares about fuel economy, right, in a video? You want to see me drive the piss out of this thing, probably. And so far, handles pretty good. You know, th this is more of a sporty-ish, I guess sporty at least designed, right? Sporty at least designed, uh, fun-ish hatchback for the masses. Um, price at a cool at sixty-five thousand twenty twelve automation dollars, which is obviously a very fancy. But this is a concept version, that's why this is with the one point six Ti V sixteen. Uh, maybe I can make a one point six Ti non V sixteen trip. Oh boy. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's not fine. We're gonna try that one more time. Try number two. I'm gonna go first person with this one though. Take it a little more seriously, probably. Even though this is a 1.6 liter twin turbo V16 uh, economy car, you know, kind of thing. For 100 horsepower, it's honestly pretty quick. It's honestly not bad. Like, 060 is what, 10 seconds of what it's rated for? It feels quicker than that. Probably because engine just, just revs pretty good here. Um, it's got pretty good torque, it feels like. It's got pretty good torque, but... Like, I mean, we're going downhill right now, but it feels like it's got good enough power. Am ample power for, like, a city car. Which is more of a wagon. Oh, we almost wrecked it there. Oh, we just made, didn't make that. Pops and crackles sound fantastic, though. You know, I'd expect nothing less than a V16 anything. Come back to the same corner we lost it last time. Nice and slow. Even though I'm trying to go quite fast. The gearing is a little bit eh. Uh, definitely a very sporty ride though. Um, if I would have you know, known I would have been doing this off-road course, more off-road-ish course. Actually, not a bad time. 110.6. 110 
This is the first time I've ever finished this map ever, as you can tell here. Um, it's not a great time. We're gonna keep going just to free room three here for a bit. I'm just cruising around. I feel like it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. About 50 MPG. I imagine if you can rip through the town with 50 MPG, force on a full tilt. They're probably burning so much gas at full tilt here because we got 16 cylinders. 100 cc a cylinder. We're gonna go around, I guess. Take a bit off roading for a second here. <laughs> this is like totally not what the car is meant for at all, but I love it. You can see the suspension just bottoming up completely. Oh boy. Oh, we're good. Oh, there we go. Some more pavement. I like that. There we go. Off the path a bit more here. I think we're back on the. Is, no, is this the racetrack? No, it's not. Let's go uh, left, I guess. Turns pretty. Actually, turns very quickly. Very, very small turning radius, it seems like. But, you know, obviously that's not. It's not because of me. I think we're back on the track now, but. Back at the finish line again. Um, Pretty quick, pretty quick car. I think we'll actually jump into another math right away. But, um. Just, just testing this outright performance of this thing is not bad. I mean, obviously, it's not the right way to test this car because this is not a performance really vehicle. But, you know, like I said, it's more of a concept car. Um, performance ish fuel economy V16. I'm not sure why this thing would ever be a concept car at all. Uh, more of like a SEMA build, maybe, if anything. Oh boy, she's not doing good right now. Good brakes, though. More than a good enough break, I'd say. Definitely not a great rally car. This thing would be a great rally car, though. <laughs> this thing is just a lot of fun. From the drive, honestly. Surprisingly, surprisingly, it feels much quicker. Especially in first person, though. We're going completely backwards to the racetrack, I guess, quickly here. Then we'll jump into another map, because we can. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic Monday. Um... Hope you guys had a good weekend too, and um, there should be another video coming tomorrow on the channel as well, uh, as well as a video probably, uh, a live stream coming either Wednesday or Thursday, probably. So uh, stay tuned for that. It might be a different game than Automation or Beam. I think actually it'd be a um, subscriber car, so they just sent me on Wednesday. You're just testing out your cars and Beam and G-Drive for fun, pretty much. And here's the start line. So we've made it all the way back to the start of the course. Now I got a bit of more of a hang with this car, how it drives, and on this course, because I literally have no seat time in this car at all. I have not practiced in this car at all. Man, it just sounds, it sounds like a complete machine. It sounds just great. And honestly, I'm not even sure if I want to change maps. This thing is just a lot of fun as is. Very, very, very fun to drive. Oh, we're going off the track just a bit, though. That's okay, we're going to go left a bit. Around, basically. Oh, we're good, we're good. We're back on the track. The car is probably fine. I'm not even going to look. It's probably fine. This is like some group B. Okay, this is not group B anymore. This is like literally off already now. And there's a tree. Uh, let's back up just a bit here. And let's change cameras back out. Oh yeah, she's not driving too much farther. I would love to make an all-wheel drive version of this. Make it like a rally, another rally version. I made a rally car last week. Like a proper rally version. This thing would be pretty cool with like a, you know... Uh, turbocharged, you know, uh, V6 or V8 maybe? A V8 have a V16 would be appropriate. Let's just hop on the sand here real quick and just see if this thing can handle the sand at all. Yeah. Even it's got, I think it's got normal tires and not performance tires, so it's not terrible in the sand. And it's not terribly low, it's actually quite raised up. Ah. Uh, very soft suspension as you could tell. Oh god, they're going in the water, we're getting sucked in, we're good. You know, I wonder if Tractor Control would be fighting us if we had it on. Probably, probably. A lot of fun in the sand, though. No, oh, this was a very, very... Oh. <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh, we're gonna jump into another map real quick and just see, um, like, proper normal car stuff. Uh, so I'll see you guys in just one sec. Okay, so we're here. Uh, this is the like open Beam and G testing map, basically. Uh, this is sort of a long, very long, um, curvy sort of race track that we're doing. We're just gonna go driving. You can see in the very, very top left, we can see the average fuel consumption. I'm actually just gonna move some things around here, so you can see right there. Average fuel consumption, um, zero liters per hundred kilometers, obviously. And we're gonna drive here and just just try to get like a good amount of uh, mile per gallon. We're gonna see what liters per hundred kilometers this thing gets. 
So we're going to do 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, we're actually going to manually drive it because I want to manually drive it here. We're going to put it in, what, 7th? Just cruising 7th at 2,000 RPM. Very, very low. Might actually not even make this curve. We're going to go very, very slow on this curve here. So 95, a little bit more on the throttle here. 8.4. We're getting the average fuel consumption down just a bit. We're just going to go around this track just a little bit longer and just see what this thing could actually do for fuel economy. Uh, so 8 liters per 100 kilometers, which is pretty fine. I guess we're doing a little bit too fast. Now we're going to slow down just a bit. The 8 is definitely going down just a bit. If we actually re if we, if right now we're slowly going down. If we actually reset it right now to just cruising speeds. Four. Not very much at all. Five. That's actually climbing decently high. Higher than I would have hoped. We're basically hypermiling our V16 car. So, you know, that, that's, that's why. Uh, six. Which is respectable numbers. This is all Europe. This is all North America. This is all like, you know, a North American. These are different sizes and leaders. I'm not too sure. Moving a little too fast now. Just slowed down just a bit. I don't want to use cruise control because that's too. That's, that's, that's cheating, right? That's cheating, obviously. Very, very slow. Still basically 5.4 liters 100 kilometers, so this is like a normalish test. The suspension actually seems kind of a little bit rough. It's actually taking those bumps pretty well, though. Good for it. So it looks like it's taking around 5.5 liters per 100 kilometers, which is a respectable uh, fuel economy. I'm going to convert to the miles per gallon just for um, you people who don't know anything about uh, liters per 100 kilometers and miles per gallon, basically. We're going off the track now. That's okay. That's okay. So, basically about 43 US miles per gallon. Uh, so, in a perfect world, they can do 50, but we're we're taking some turns and stuff like that, so obviously not a perfect world. And I guess for the last minute, we'll just um go for a rip on this track, basically, and just talk. So, um, yeah, uh, video coming out tomorrow. Probably, yeah, so today's, it'll be Monday when the scene comes out. This is, I'm recording on Sunday, it'll be coming out on Monday, and then I'll probably a video coming Tuesday, and then probably a live stream Wednesday, or Thursday, probably Thursday. Then another live stream Saturday and a video around that time as well. So, uh, more stuff's coming. This is definitely a, wow. Look at that, 330 liters per 100 kilometers. That's not bad at all. Just just keep it revving here. It's actually using less fuel. Very slow. We're only, <laughs> wow, we're literally maxing here. This is like let's go three overdrive gears basically. Come on. Very very slow. Very slow car clearly. Like 3,000 RPM 150s, it's very low actually. Yeah, I think like at 107, it's only 2,000 RPM, which is crazy. We're just gonna ramp off here really quick. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. The car is in perfect shape. Ah. Perfect. <laughs> the car is like toast. Um, does not drive straight anymore. Oh, I want to make this car. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy making this car. I, I like French cars a lot lately. Um, very, very unique design for the French cars. Now, while well, the headlights look kind of glitched over, that's okay. Um, I'm going to do more cars of this brand in the, in the future. So uh, I'm getting a bunch of pings in Discord right now, which you probably can hear, but that's okay. Um, so if you guys liked this build, leave a like down below. It actually does help me out a lot. Join the Discord, linked in the description. You gosh darn it, join the Discord. Uh, so you can be part of the live streams and other stuff as well. I'm getting a bunch of pings. Gosh darn it. Um, they're getting so much pings. Who's pinging me? So much pings. It's crazy. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see me do next. I've got another video I've got, like, you know, from the live stream last week of the uh, building my uh, drag, you know, fire truck, basically the meme build. I'm going to edit that down to a bit of a, a meme video. That'll be kind of fun to do. Um, but yeah. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always... I'll see you next time.